stop. A family shop. Think Thayer. Come on, let's get rolling. Come on, let's get moving. Think Thayer. So, uh, 300 yard backs for the second game in a row after not doing so for like 40 years, something like that. But, uh, Coach, you want to make a statement? Well, uh, you know, had our chances early in the ball game to, to really kind of put this thing away. And, and my hat's off uh, off to, to Lance and, and his staff for keeping his kids up and keeping them fighting through a rough season, which they had as well. Uh, but in the end, uh, you know, the, the defense stepped up in the second half. Uh, we gave up some plays um, late in the ball game. And, we, you know, we got to do a better job of that. But happy with the win. Excited about the win. Excited for this group of seniors. Excited for this football team as a whole uh, to, to go off the right way. And, uh, you know, winning streaks, you know, they're, they're tough to come by sometimes. And, you know, from my understanding, that's the first time uh, we've had a, a three-game winning streak to end the season since 2001. So, uh, you know, that's a heck of a feat to those guys. By no means were we able to uh, achieve uh, what we set out to achieve at the beginning of the year. But, uh, you know, like I told you, um, about the second or third press conference. I really love coaching this team, you know, and, and I really love being around this group of seniors, um, you know, and, and it starts with, with, with like Kanapi, you know, because he had every opportunity um, when we decided to make the change to uh, tear this team apart from the inside, and he did just the opposite. So, uh, you know, again, glad for a win, and right now I'll take any questions. Well, you started a little bit about your defense because, I mean, outside of a couple of drives late in each half, yeah. they really dominated them. What, what was yeah. the key to that? You know, and, and I, it's just so, so stinking frustrating sometimes, John, because, you know, you, you can't do those things late in the second half and, and get to where we want to go. Uh, and you see that we have the potential to, to not play just good defense, but we have the potential to play as good defense as anybody in the conference. You know, and, and, and we got to be consistent. We got to play you know, for four quarters, and we can't let those things happen early in ball games. Uh, I think, uh, you know, the issue there is probably probably a lack of focus. You know what I mean? Uh, 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 you know, we'll look at it. We'll study in the off season. Do we need to roll more guys in there? Are they getting fatigued? Um, but but we need to sustain that level of play throughout the game. If we do that, moving forward uh, to the 2017 season, uh, we'll we'll be tough to handle. Well, you talked a little bit about your emotion on those final three plays of the game. Where they, I mean, great tackle that's going to get lost in all the right. overall to keep the guy out of the right. end zone on the right. pass. Right, play, play, play to the last whistle. You know what I mean? He did a great job of, of keeping him out of the end zone, which inevitably won us the game. Um, you know, just as you're going through those drives, you, you, what you try to do as a head coach is I'm trying to tell myself, snap out of it, snap out of it, snap out of it, because I'm steaming because we lost the ball and we had to try to, to bleed the clock out. So and click back on that defensive side and be able to, to give those guys some, some, some assistance. So that was kind of my thought process there. Will you talk about what you were trying to do on uh, not the fumbled snap play, but the two pass plays that followed it, the last two games? The last basically. two, yeah, we wanted, we wanted to be sure that we brought pressure up the middle so we get into his face. We didn't want to bring it from the edge so he can step up and have the middle of the field to throw. If he was going to throw it, we wanted it to be a, 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 you know one of those uh, skinny posts in the back of the end zone, high, a 50-50 ball. And they did a good job executing that. As you see, the last one, in fact, no went, went high and had no chance. So uh, they did a good job executing the scheme. Um, got close to the officials just in case we needed the timeout. Uh, but on the head side, we, we felt like we were lined up correctly. How satisfying. I know there was, like you said, you know, missed opportunities in the first half with some of the turnovers. Yes, sir. Downs, but to still to close the season the way you guys did, it's got to be it, It's very satisfying. It's very satisfying. It's very, uh, I just feel good for, for the kids in that locker room right now, you know, because uh, it, it, it was it was, it was was a tough ride, man. It, and it was, you know, and, and I'm proud of our coaches for, for uh, you know, keeping this team together and, and those guys staying together. Um, uh, you know, I, I'm kind of speechless, you know, because uh, it, 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 it could have been really, really bad and they didn't allow that to happen. Going back to your defense, in the third quarter, it's still a one-score game. It's very close, and your defense not only got stops, but was able to create turnovers. Mm -hmm. And it, it looked like they were your your seniors, your leaders. Right, who were no doubt, plays. no doubt. I mean, uh, 
you know, we gave up those plays uh, late in the, in the second quarter, and that's one of the things we went and talked to about to the defense about. You know, other than that, it's kind of like you said, John, that really you, you, you've done a great job of, of, of stymieing them. You know, go out there, let's be consistent, and let's play even better in the second half. And you can't ask me more for turnover, turnover. You know, we get three, three, and then a touchdown. And for all purposes, the game, you know, should be out of reach at that point. But somehow we like to make it interesting. Will you talk a little bit about the offense? A couple of things. Well, first of all, you were able to run again. Did you? You guys didn't have to change much from these last few weeks, did you? I mean, no, no, we did. did. No, we didn't. And the weather's played into that a little bit. You know what I mean? And and and. Um, yeah, we've been we've been able to do what we do, and and, and that's kind of the, the impressive part about it, is, is to be able to still have uh, the success that we've had, uh, in, in, in these past three weeks, um, you know, tonight we really had no choice. Ronnie had been moved from the game, and T.O.'s hamstring was bothering him, so we really didn't take a shot with him, weren't able to stretch the field with him, so we were trying to disguise it as much as we could, but you know, to you know, because really we felt like we had some matchups maybe that we could exploit. One on one, and we we took the shots with Scotty inside, and we really weren't able to to attack them like we wanted to on the outside. So really, those guys were out there this game pretty much for smoke and mirrors. Having said that, though, your assessment of how your offense played, knowing that you were basically one dimensional and still got a lot of yardage, but three fourth down failed conversions in the right. second quarter, twice in the third quarter you right. drive, you get a touchdown there. It's a different We've game. Done, right. It's field goals and still a one score. No doubt. I mean, uh, um, we have to be able to take advantage of those red zone opportunities moving forward. You know, um, because the thing that happens um, if you get into a ball game where you run it 67 times, um, one negative play and you're off rhythm. You know what I mean? So we're going to have to be conscientious of, 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 of being a, a, a fundamentally sound football team and not uh, and doing those type of things in those type of situations. And there are a lot of times, you know, really in those second and, and really the second quarter more so than anyone that we had throws there. And we had opportunities to make plays. We had a couple of drops, a couple of missed throws. So um, when you run it like that, they're going to have to load that box and you're going to have one on ones. And, and it goes back to what we talked about uh, um, five weeks ago, John. Um, my focus throughout the spring is going to make the routine play. I'm not looking for anybody to come and make a spectacular play. Ball's thrown to you, it hits you in the hands, catch the football. You got a guy wide open, put, put it on him. So, uh, you know, we got a lot to work on, uh, but excited about it and excited about the direction that we're going. I know it's still really fresh, but how much of an improvement do you think James made from when he started? Was it week four, week mm -hmm. five, to go over to, to now? And uh, here's what I'm going to say, and it's not being disrespectful to any of those football teams. I would love the opportunity to play those games again. Um, I think you know he, he's grown a tremendous amount. Um, you know, uh, and and I, our, our football team believes it. So, and, and more so than anything else, uh, just like in life, confidence means a ton. And right now, we're a fairly confident football team. When you can. Couple what you hope he's able to do in the future to what the run game has been able to do the last three, four weeks, whatever. How much does that? It's ex it excites me. I mean, I mean, because really, uh, we don't even have a, a a package for the run game that we're running yet. You know, it's something that we went to, like I said, out of necessity, and then that Akron game when we were struggling a little bit and the weather was kind of nasty. And he's like, hey, we we might have stumbled onto something here. We're pretty good at this stuff. Um, so. Uh, we'll build that package and, and, and as we're moving forward. And the thing that excites me is, is, is you know, he can make every throw and be able to, to create those one-on-ones and the play-action passes. It gets those those underneath defenders out of the out of the passing lane, which is where we throw a lot of our picks. It opens up one-on-one, -on -one, those deep out cuts, those comebacks. Um, you know, he he could he could end up being pretty successful. Um, the thing that we've got to do, and you guys know this. Uh, I think we were 18 touchdowns or whatever, 17 touchdowns, 16 to 17 interceptions. I want to be sitting here this time next year talking about 37 touchdowns and five picks. And then, you know, and you can do that in, in, in what we're trying to do schematically. What's, can you talk about what's the next step for you and your coach? Uh, next step for my coaches and I, uh, I can be on the road on Sunday. We will be on the road on Sunday and we will be recruiting. Uh, um, and trying to close this 17 class. Out.